I dare you to question what you think are traditions. I'm so happy that once in a while I actually can present knowledge that I learned in my bachelor and master degree. Insane to put that knowledge to use. I come from a region in Austria where we traditionally wear the dirndl. And yes, we actually wear that on special occasions. Absolutely everybody and their mother tells the tale of the dirndl once being the humble peasant's work uniform and then magically developed to our traditional garments. Well, that is BS. And I'm sorry to offend a lot of Germans and Austrian people here, but what we know as the Dirndl today is absolutely impractical to work in. Also way too fancy. Our Dirndl was made up somewhere between the 19th and 20th century. So what actually happened is quite easy to explain. A bunch of rich people from the city each and every year decided to go to some kind of summer vacation. Rich people from the city went to especially beautiful places in the countryside that were known for having great lakes, spring water, beautiful nature, stuff like that. And while the cities became hot and unbearable during summer, they spent a portion of their time in very nice looking houses on the countryside. And the ladies from said society custom tailored dresses to look like their perfect imagination of what the countryside should be like. So they did not actually dress in the way workers on the countryside dressed. No, that's peasant stuff. Rich ladies from the city would do that. They imagined a perfect polished picture from a countryside that never existed. They chose spots in the countryside that were especially beautiful. They built especially beautiful houses there. This whole countryside aesthetic was not actual countryside aesthetic. It was what rich people in the city wanted the countryside to look like. The dirndl, the traditional garments of Austrians and Germans, and I think Swiss people as well, I don't know, is not actually traditional because it never developed out of hard-working, honest, poor people's way of dressing. It developed out of the fantasy of rich city people and what they imagined the perfect countryside to look at. In studying culture for over six years at this point, I can assure you that with many, I'm not gonna say all, because there's a lot of stuff we do not know, but in many cases, traditions are not as traditional as we like to believe. 